The secret sauce in Firefall. It was Rick Roberts and Larry Burnett, the two singer-songwriters. We talk about that magic with Larry Burnett. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. When Rick Roberts left the Flying Burrito Brothers, he did a few odd things here and there musically, but then the biggest thing he did after that was certainly Firefall, when he decided he didn't want to be the only singer-songwriter in the band, that he wanted someone else. And he'd been promising Larry Burnett that he was doing this thing. Finally, they got together, and by 1976, they released their first album, and they just took off. But there was a secret sauce there where Larry was more of a rocker than Rick. Rick had most of the hits, but Larry in concert, man, they utilized him because they needed to rock on stage. We talk about that secret formula. Yeah, and it's kind of funny. I mean, Ricky, I'll be the first to praise and say that Ricky writes some of the best songs I've been a part of or even heard. Uh, and it was an honor to work with him on all that stuff and sing. Like I said, I love singing with Ricky. And uh, on stage, I mean, we do these albums, got these great, beautiful songs, and You Are the Woman, you know, little the kind of love songs. But when we played on stage, we kind of favored my stuff because what we what we thought we were was bad company. <laughs> But in fact, we weren't really bad company, but we, but we like to rock a little bit more and just play ballads and stuff. So, so the shows are people would come to the shows expecting like air supply or something, and uh, anyway, they walk out going, "The hell was that?" <laughs> Why hasn't there been more Larry Burnett solo music? I, you released Confidence Game in two thousand four. You did the album guitars and vocals with Don Chapman. So why isn't there more solo stuff? Oh, I don't know. A friend of mine paid for it. It's money, basically. It costs money to record, and uh, and I don't. I mean, I can't. <laughs> I came out of Firefall at some point in the middle there, like 1978. I think my uh, I had my own business manager, and he had estimated my wealth uh, at about 18 million dollars. And I went, really? And he goes, yeah. And, he, and I went. I don't have 18 million $1 bills anywhere in my life here. What are you saying? And it was all based on, you know, what your assets are and the contracts. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, but that was the estimate. And then when, I, when the band was over, uh, I ended up in bankruptcy court <laughs> with debts in excess of a couple hundred grand. And I had assets of about 25 grand. Uh, so uh, so it, it kind of levels you out real fast there at the end. Check out the description of this video for concert dates with Rick Roberts and Larry Burnett finally getting back together to do some shows or go to LarryBurnett.com. We have two more clips with Larry Burnett coming up next Sunday and the following Sunday. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Mm -hmm.